Welcome to the houses that October built. This is obviously going to be a Halloween movie, and here I am reviewing it in January, but what the hell. So this is going to be a found footage film, so if you're like, wah, found footage films, then already this film's not going to be for you. But I do think it has quite an interesting premise, but I do think you, you'll get more from this if you are American. The reason I say this, this basically, the whole set, setup of this film is this kind of, a fascination with kind of these haunted houses that you, that you tend to have in America. And I'm not talking about genuine haunted houses. I'm talking about these ones that are sort of commercially set up, like House of Horrors, where you essentially you, you sort of kind of you go into it and you have actors and kind of props that basically scare you. And being from the UK, uh, we don't really have that to be honest. I mean, you might have one or two here and there, but it's not like a thing that really people do that often. Or you know, is it is the UK is that well known for? But in America. I understand this is, you know, quite a thing that kind of people enjoy doing and the the film is kind of spliced with a variety of different interviews with kind of people. And the idea being with this movie is is really based on that kind of scene, these kind of these haunted houses that are sort of, you know, made up with actors and kind of props to try and scare people basically. And the the idea being that this kind of industry, if you like, is getting more and more competitive because people are kind of getting used to the sort of like the, you know, the people sort of dressed up as zombies running after you and things like that. So the people kind of behind these haunted houses are having to go to these kind of more extreme lengths to kind of make these kind of these attractions, I guess, more competitive and more scary ultimately. And basically the movie follows a kind of group of friends as they sort of travel across America trying to find the extreme haunted house and basically they kind of hear rumors of this kind of underground organization called blue skeleton that you know hosts this extremely uh, scary kind of haunted house and basically it's they go to a variety of different locations and act like a bit of assholes to be quite honest they act, they act like kind of quite petulant teens even though they're actually older than this and they're quite kind of rude uh, and disrespectful to kind of people and they seem to be sort of followed by a kind of gr a group of people in costumes that they actually encounter in the kind of the, the first haunted town that they sort of go to and it you know it does remind me a little bit of uh, the, the movie Hostel in a way where it seems like you have this kind of this, this sort of network of of haunted houses that basically um, you know are, are trying to either scare people or those people in this uh, in this organisation who kind of want to get their kind of aggression out and in, in, in these kind of interview sort of features that you'll sort of see sort of dotted around you'll see basically people saying yeah this is kind of a way to get my aggression out and kind of you know be be nasty to people without kind of getting in trouble for it things like that. So in a way, it kind of uh, it kind of reminded me of the Hostel and also the the movie The Game, uh, Michael Douglas film, because you don't know at the end of the day if these people are, are in real jeopardy or are, are they kind of you know are they just in a, in a very elaborate kind of. Uh, hoax being played by these kind of these extreme haunted house people who are kind of taking it sort of this one step too far or is it somewhere in between I'm not going to tell you the obviously the answer to that uh, because that would be a spoiler you have to watch it yourself to find out what actually happens but I will say the ending for me was a little bit deflating even though I won't tell you what it is so what's the movie like in general well, like I said I think the concept is quite good and the idea behind it I think is is, is fairly original but the execution is a b below standard to be honest i mean I, I didn't really understand the motivations of the actual characters about why they would do this in, in my mind if, if these people were thrill seekers and they wanted to kind of really will find absolute terror i don't know why you would go to somewhere where you would know it was fake you why, why not try and find you know genuine you know uh, haunted places and try and you know find things there that are going to scare you surely that would be more more scary if you were kind of what that type of thing and i don't understand why they would almost be deliberately rude to these people and uh things like that they just come across as um almost like quite unlikable and, and, and to a certain respect you think well, these people you know they're gonna they're basically asking to to kind of bad things to happen to them by the, by the way they're acting i also don't think some of the characters were particularly well defined they, i mean the the, the the all the kind of that they're using here the actual names of the actual actors and the, the director is also um you know starring in this movie but there's, there's a guy with a beard and a, a female you know sort of a member of the group but the, all the other i think it's five of them the other three are so kind of just generic you don't even remember which one's which 
Uh, this also, in regards to the kind of scares and stuff, it's such a dark film, it's really hard to see what's going on. So you'll literally be watching kind of sometimes 10 minutes at a time where in, in pitch black and all you'll see is kind of like a light moving around or some sort of, you know, vaguely dim lit sort of thing in the back, but you can't really make out what's going on. And it's almost like listening to an audio book. Now, I obviously understand that it's going to take place at night and it's going to have this kind of scary atmosphere, but unfortunately, you really can't see what's going on a lot of the times. And it being a found footage film, a lot of the camera work is kind of, you know, shaky cam and sort of flying around. But you, it kind of loses you to a point where I think the, the, the style of this film, the cinematography, is doing it a disservice, unfortunately, because you just you just can't follow it. And it unfortunately, you, you, you're waiting for the next thing what you can actually see and understand properly. So you, at that point, you're kind of sitting back and sort of taking you out the movie as well uh you know it's an okay concept but to be honest with you i think the actual the way this film was constructed uh, the characters were kind of unlikable well it's not terribly well you know they're not badly acted as such but they're just not interesting people not interesting characters vaguely defined uh and the story other issue i have with it is like i said doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I don't understand why these people will be doing this, why they uh, are taking so much time. And when things really start to kind of get a bit weird and they're kind of looking like they've maybe attracted some kind of uh, proper weirdos onto the towel, why don't they just turn towel? And the other thing is, is this to be a tiny minor spoiler, is we're never told how these kind of group of crazies are managing to track these people. But these people are driving in America in a camper van and we just don't know how these same people that they have met across the country and managing to find them just in a, in a random van in the middle of nowhere. It doesn't make sense, unfortunately. So I have to say, the negatives far, far outweighed the positives in this film. So I'm going to give this movie a 3 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.